This week, the legendary Lawrence Kasdan sits down to talk about light and magic. Diego Luna delivers a new and or trailer and more. Hang on a second. Just finishing my mood board for the week. <sighs> Inspiring. Let's get to the news. Earlier this week, the one and only Diego Luna gifted us with a brand new and or trailer on Good Morning America. Thanks, Diego. If you thought that first teaser was intense, you might want to buckle up, baby. The new trailer takes us from an encampment in the shadow of an Imperial Star Destroyer to the halls of the Galactic Senate, featuring an epic dogfight among the stars. Familiar rebels and rogues like Saw Gerrera, Mon Mothma, and of course, Cassie and Andor, and intriguing moments. This is what revolution looks like. Plus, the trio from Rogue One, a Star Wars story, graced this new poster art, featuring a slew of new faces we can't wait to meet. Andor will premiere on Disney Plus on September 21st with a special three episode debut. For another chance to watch that full trailer, sneak your way over to StarWars.com slash this week. We're still riding the wave of excitement from San Diego Comic-Con. Not only did we get up close and personal with B2EMO, the new droid from Andor, but those sweet reveals from phase two of the High Republic carried through to last week's episode of the High Republic show and then some. Our friend Christina Ariel has a full scoop and you can feast your eyes on new concept art and comic book covers at StarWars.com slash This Week Now. Last week, the new six-part documentary series, Light and Magic, debuted on Disney+, Plus, pulling back the curtain on industrial light and magic for an in-depth look at what makes ILM so special, the people. They've created movie magic for nearly five decades, including making the impossible dream of Star Wars possible over and over and over again. And they did it all while having a whole lot of fun at work. You can watch the entire series for yourself now, streaming on Disney+. Plus. And tomorrow, the LEGO Star Wars Summer Vacation Special is taking Beach Blanket Bingo to the sunny beaches of Scarif when it arrives on Disney+. Plus. Join Finn, Ray, Poe, Rose, and other friends aboard the Halcyon for a memorable field trip with musical numbers, festive hats, and BB-8 proving it's hardwired to relax. Watch the animated special for yourself when it arrives August 5th, streaming only on Disney+. Plus. To help celebrate the release of Light and Magic on Disney+, Plus, today we have the privilege of sitting down with the director and executive producer, Lawrence Kasdan. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Kasdan. Now, can you tell me, how does your approach change from creating a fictional story as a writer, director, filmmaker, to driving the organization of a documentary? Having made narrative films for 40 years, I found it exhilarating people's answers, which I haven't written, you know, because for all that time I was writing everybody's reaction. This person say that and this person would react that way. And what I found so liberating on the doc was they came up with stuff that was much better than what I would have written them and much more unpredictable and eccentric. My goal on Light Magic was to create an atmosphere for the people where they were comfortable talking about everything. Because you do have such a personal connection to ILM, to some of the people that you're interviewing, how do you bring that journalistic lens and that sort of unbiased feel to it when you do have that personal connection and some of that experience? I feel like that's one of the things I take pride in. The men and women of ILM, what I like that you get from them is they had this confidence, even though they didn't know how they were gonna solve a problem. They had the confidence that they had solved so many problems already. And I have that confidence about talking to people because that's been my main interest in all my life. And most of my other movies are about people talking to each other, you know, and the surprise they get from reactions and things going unexpectedly. And that is what I love. So the opportunity to talk to all these folks who had this gold mine of memories and try to get that to open up without ever pushing it, where you don't push it so it closes. You just letting it be, let them talk. What do you hope that people will get out of watching it? I have grandchildren and they've seen some of it already and they love it and they're just interested. It's a story about how things are made. And I love that they see people saying, oh, that's a problem, but we can solve it. And I also think the encouragement to go make something is terribly important for people. 
You know, that's, that's what these kids did. I mean, they were 12, 14 years old, and they were doing these incredible special effects. How'd they work it out? There was no handbook to do it. And I want kids today to maybe look at this and say, you know, I could, I could make one of these movies in my backyard. Thank you so much for your time today. That's it for this week, but for more on these stories and other news from around the galaxy, check out StarWars.com. And be sure to join us right here for This Week in Star Wars every Thursday. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.